The Armenian Relief Society is a humanitarian organization which has already celebrated its centenary. In 1910, an ARF field worker, Bachadur Malumyan, who was known as Edgar Agnuni, came to New York and regrouped women's groups under the ARF umbrella. When the first convention convened in Boston in May 1915, 33 chapters had been established across the United States. Weeks prior to the convention, during the initiation of the Armenian Genocide on April 24, 1915, Agnuni was among the Armenian intellectuals and leaders who were imprisoned and eventually killed by the Ottoman Empire. The convention took the extraordinary step of sending a telegraph to President Woodrow Wilson to intervene on behalf of the endangered Armenian people. Thousands of Armenian survivors of the genocide arrived at different countries in dire conditions. They were hungry and lacked shelter. The ARS cared for the survivors and supported the Armenian culture in different corners of the world. These dual roles of taking care of the needy and upholding the Armenian culture eventually transformed what was first the Armenian Red Cross into the Armenian Relief Society of today. The ARS developed a mission which included various elements of disaster relief and assistance during wars and epidemics, in addition to taking on developmental, educational, and cultural roles within the community. During the two years of the Republic of Armenia, 1918 to 1920, the International Red Cross recognized the Armenian Red Cross and invited it to participate in the 10th Convention of the International Red Cross, held in Geneva, Switzerland, on March 30, 1921. During Armenia's independence, Leola Sassouni was one of the influential members who moved to Armenia, cared for orphans, and established many chapters. In 1921, the Armenian Women's Association of Tavriz, Iran, joined the Armenian Red Cross and provided emergency assistance to 10,000 Armenians who fled to Tavriz. By 1926, at the ARS convention in Boston, Massachusetts, the ARS created the One Orphan for One Gold Coin, Mekvorp, Mekvoski program. The new program freed orphaned children from Turkish, Kurdish, and Arab households, taught them the Armenian language and culture in newly established orphanages, and reintegrated them back into Armenian communities. Needy students residing in Middle Eastern countries gained the opportunity to attend schools by the fundraising efforts of ARS chapters in faraway countries. The Zavarian Elementary School was established in Kokinia, Athens, Greece. Nutritional and health programs were initiated to help needy children, such as the Bowl of Soup, the Nak Megiragur program. ARS members cooked and then fed the children who were malnourished. Each year, ARS members went from house to house to collect donations for the Banak Megiragur program. The popular program was supported even by the poor elderly who collected their coins throughout the year to be able to contribute to the fund. One of the first and most famous recipients of the ARS College Scholarship was the writer and poet Moucher Ishkhan, who had been orphaned at the age of two. From 1938 to 1940, he received $300 per year to attend a university in Brussels, the equivalent of a $5,000 scholarship today. 
The ARS has two major fundraising efforts for the Hamazgayin Jemaran in Beirut, Lebanon. The ARS raised $127,000 in 1947 and $140,000 in 1954 for the kindergarten through high school level school. Armenian diasporan communities went through more turmoil. The war and resulting political shifts displaced people. In 1950, the ARS raised $278,000 to aid victims and displaced persons, or DPs, of World War II, worth $2.63 million today. Working with the Armenian National Committee to Aid Homeless Armenians, ANCHA, many of the DPs moved to the United States and were placed with host families until they could manage on their own. ARS members donated to the fund and volunteered as host families. Since 1970, the ARS has cooperated with the United Nations and UN agencies. On May 28, 1998, the ARS was officially accepted as a member of the Economic and Social Council of the UN. Presently, the ARS chapters operate in 27 countries around the world.